Welcome to the World of Alice's Restaurant, a film that has left an indelible mark on audiences since its release in 1969. This cinematic gem, directed by Arthur Penn, transcends the screen to resonate with viewers on a personal level. Have you ever found yourself reflecting on how this movie has influenced or shaped your own life? Among the diverse characters in the film, each playing a crucial role, which one stands out as your favorite? The tapestry of personalities woven into the narrative provides a rich backdrop for the unfolding events. Share your thoughts on the character that left a lasting impression on you. Before delving into the depths of personal experiences, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about the film. Alice's Restaurant is not just a movie, it's a cultural touchstone that captures the essence of a transformative era. With its exploration of societal norms and counterculture, the film encapsulates the spirit of the late 1960s. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey. How has Alice's Restaurant left an imprint on your life? We're eager to hear your stories and memories in the comments below as they add a unique dimension to the collective appreciation for this timeless piece of cinema. What character resonates with you the most, and do you have a personal story about the impact of Alice's Restaurant on your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Alice's Restaurant, a 1969 film directed by Arthur Penn, originated from Arlo Guthrie's 18-minute musical monologue of the same name. The film, a countercultural classic, unfolds the humorous yet poignant adventures of Arlo Guthrie as he inadvertently becomes entangled with the legal system after a Thanksgiving Day littering incident. The narrative navigates through the quirky landscape of the 1960s, capturing the essence of the anti-establishment sentiment. The iconic characters, including Alice, Ray, and Officer Obi, breathe life into the satirical commentary on societal norms and bureaucratic absurdity. Woven with folk music and Guthrie's distinctive storytelling, the film presents a snapshot of a bygone era while addressing timeless themes of rebellion, community, and the power of music. Its unique style, blending folk, comedy, and social commentary, sets it apart as a cultural touchstone that resonates beyond its initial release. The film's enduring impact on popular culture is marked by its anthem-like status, embodying the spirit of a generation challenging the status quo. With its blend of humor, folk music, and social critique, Alice's Restaurant remains a symbol of countercultural defiance. In the making of the 1969 film Alice's Restaurant, the filmmakers encountered an unexpected roadblock when they sought to shoot a scene at Cranwell Prep School in Lenox, Massachusetts. This exclusive Jesuit boarding school posed a challenge as some of the priests were not in favor of supporting what they perceived as the emerging liberal culture. Consequently, the filming at Cranwell was short-lived. This incident sheds light on the clash between the countercultural movement depicted in the film and the conservative values held by certain institutions of the time. The filmmaker's choice of locations became a subtle battleground reflecting the societal tensions present in the 1960s. It also highlights the contrast between the rebellious spirit of the movie and the resistance it faced from traditional elements of society. Despite this setback, Alice's Restaurant managed to capture the essence of the era through its unconventional narrative and satirical commentary. The clash at Cranwell becomes a microcosm of the larger societal conflict that the film addresses, adding a layer of authenticity to its portrayal of the anti-establishment sentiment of the time. The intersection of counterculture and tradition, as seen in The Clash at Cranwell, becomes a compelling aspect of the film's narrative. It underscores the film's broader exploration of rebellion, community, and the power of music in a changing cultural landscape. Arlo Guthrie's cinematic journey in Alice's Restaurant unfolds with intriguing details beyond its countercultural narrative. In a subtle touch of authenticity, Tina Chen, portraying Arlo's on-screen girlfriend, donned a genuine Chinese dress that once belonged to her grandmother. Yet, as the shoot concluded, the dress vanished into storage, never to return to its rightful owner. Digging deeper into the film's nuances, the littering incident that propels the plot involved Arlo's co-defendant Richard Rhodes. At 19, Rhodes found himself entwined in the legal aftermath alongside 18-year-old Guthrie. This real-life counterpart adds an extra layer of reality to the Thanksgiving Day misadventure. Moreover, a vehicular detail sparks curiosity. Arlo, the character, opts for a 1965 Volkswagen station wagon Type 2, commonly known as a bus. Remarkably, this choice holds relevance beyond the screen. In 2022, the average sale price for these vintage vehicles reached nearly $70,000.
underscoring the lasting impact of the film on popular culture. These subtleties from Tina Chan's vanished dress to the real-life Richard Rhodes and the vintage Volkswagen contribute to the rich tapestry of Alice's restaurant. They reveal the meticulous details embedded in the narrative transcending the countercultural theme. These behind-the-scenes snippets add depth to the film's legacy, making it more than a cinematic rebellion, but a collection of moments, characters, and choices that resonate far beyond the screen. In the 1969 film Alice's Restaurant, a surprising detail adds a layer of authenticity to the narrative. During the funeral scene, the singer is Tigger Outlaw, Jeff Outlaw's wife, who portrays Roger in the movie. Interestingly, she is credited in the movie's soundtrack album. This subtle fact connects the on-screen portrayal to real-life individuals involved in the production. Furthermore, the decision not to cast the real Alice Brock, the central figure in the story, adds a unique dimension. Despite the opportunity, Alice turned down the chance to play herself. As a non-professional actress, she believed there was no need to recreate in film what she had already lived. This choice contributes to the film's realism, depicting events as they unfolded rather than attempting a dramatized reenactment. Moreover, the movie's connection to reality extends beyond the cast. The recording of Arlo Guthrie's The Alice's Restaurant Massacre is often perceived as fiction. However, Arthur Penn, the director who owns a home in Stockbridge where the events occurred, recognized that it was based on actual events. This realization brings authenticity to the film, clarifying that what may seem like a continuity problem aligns with the true events. The movie even uses actual photos as evidence at the trial grounding the narrative in the reality of the Thanksgiving Day littering incident. To further emphasize the connection to reality, the real-life blind judge in Guthrie's song, Judge James Hannon, plays himself in the film. This alignment of fiction and reality underscores the film's commitment to accurately representing the countercultural events of the time. In exploring these behind-the-scenes details, we uncover the meticulous choices made in the production of Alice's Restaurant. From the involvement of real-life individuals to the decision not to fictionalize certain aspects, the film becomes a unique blend of fact and fiction, offering a genuine portrayal of a pivotal moment in cultural history. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey, let the tapestry of memories from the 1969 masterpiece weave its way into the fabric of your reflections. Alice's Restaurant, a timeless symphony of counterculture and camaraderie, beckons you to pause and ponder your personal odyssey with this cinematic gem. What echoes of Arlo Guthrie's whimsical ballad resonate within your own narrative? Perhaps it's a tale of rebellion, a soundtrack to your free-spirited escapades, or a poignant reminder of a bygone era. As we unravel the threads of nostalgia, I invite you to share your intimate connection with this cultural touchstone. Drop your anecdotes, unveil the layers of emotion stirred by this cinematic feast. How did the harmonies of Alice's Restaurant soundtrack your own rebellious adventures? What shadows of the movie linger in the corners of your memory? In this shared space, let's revel in the magic of collective recollection. Your thoughts, dear friend, are the missing verses in this enduring ballad. So, be the storyteller of your own cinematic voyage. Let your words dance like Guthrie's melody, painting a vibrant mural of personal resonance. In this communal celebration, we find unity in our diverse memories. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic expedition. Your presence, your tales, enrich the tapestry of our shared experience. Until our narratives intertwine again, keep the spirit of Alice's Restaurant alive in your heart.